The Berlin Gigafactory is one for the history books. Tesla is building 100 Gigafactories to accommodate all the demand they get with each new release. The Gigafactories, when all established, can safely transition the whole world to sustainable energy, and the new Gigafactory Berlin is one of seven facilities that Tesla has invested in so far. There are only three Gigafactories confirmed. Gigafactory Berlin is racing Gigafactory Texas for completion, while Gigafactory Shanghai is in its expanded state. The Berlin facility was announced by Tesla CEO Elon Musk in November 2019 at the Das Goldin Lenkrad Award Show. Tesla Gigafactory Berlin is now the center for Europe's electric vehicle solution in 2022. Gigafactory Berlin is the European manufacturing plant for Tesla. The factory is on the outskirts of Grunheide, Germany. The factory will provide for the European region of Tesla fans. Gigafactory Berlin is 35 kilometers southeast of central Berlin. The company also announced a new design and development center in Berlin. The factory is estimated to cost $4 billion. The factory will be the European production center for electric vehicles, vehicle parts, lithium-ion batteries, battery packs, and powertrains. The factory is expected to produce 100 gigawatt hours per year in the area of batteries and energy storage. The Tesla Model Y will also be assembled with new technology in the facility. The Model Ys are mid-size SUVs with a core structural design change. The new technology will have its first trial in Berlin, and after it works, it can be transferred elsewhere. The Model Ys produced in Tesla Gigafactory Berlin will come with a new battery design, and for the first time, that 4680 battery cells will be made in-house and fixed in cars. The 4680 batteries are six times more powerful than the current batteries and have five times more energy capacity than their predecessor. Although much more efficient, the 4680 batteries cost 56% less to produce. The factory was started in 2020 with site preparation and foundation. The Tesla Gigafactory Berlin will begin operations with 10,000 employees. The factory was expected to start production in July 2021. The factory also has solar and wind power storage, so it is self-reliant. There were many campaigns to get Gigafactory to settle in various countries in Europe. The company was getting support from the EU, and whatever country got the chance to host Tesla was going to have an economic boost. The process of Tesla choosing a site is all automated, yet the company employs many people. The global consensus to move to sustainable renewable energy has been a big economic leap that all countries are trying to harness for growth. The European Union is also projecting the electric vehicle industry to be the biggest automotive wing in Europe in the next 10 years. There is an exception that there will be 25 more gigafactories by 2025. The change in the automotive industry forced local governments to give support to companies to set up within European borders and cut the dependency on Asia. The land that is developing into Berlin Gigafactory was intended to be a BMW car factory around 2000. The land is surrounded by prime plantations on a landscape scale. The company filed that it expected a production rate of 500,000 vehicles per year. The land cost Tesla 13.5 euros per square meter for the whole 300 hectare site to the tune of 41 million euros. The contract was notarized on the 29th of January 2020 after Tesla signed the deal to pay the amount requested. The water situation in the factory is a substantially good place. The logistics of the facility are quite in order. The water is supplied by Straussburg Erkner and it can handle the first batch of production. There is distillation and purification by reverse osmosis on the site. The factory also has a wastewater treatment plant with 252 mh capacity, a central supply building, employee parking lots, and in and outgoing deliveries for rail and truck. The factory is built interrupting a rail line so that employees can use the train and be dropped off in front of the company. Two train lines are aboard this mission to collaborate. This connection and collaboration are necessary, especially if you consider that the factory, when it hits full capacity, will employ tens of thousands of people. The company needs its employees to be on time and have easy access in and out of the work campus. Brandenburg is perfect for the factory because it has industrial sites that are expandable. The area also has the highest production of green energy per citizen in the whole country. That makes the majority of people in the area a qualified workforce for the Tesla company. The people within the local Brandenburg are going to fill 90% of the positions in the factory. The company estimates a workforce of 40,000 people by the time the whole factory is in full operation. 
Germany has solidified its place as a global leader in green energy solutions. The standards of living in the city are moderate for the average worker, and that is exciting news for people who will move there to find their job. In true Tesla fashion, the jobs are open to people without relevant training and those who have been unemployed for a long time. The company is offering salaries for entry level for as high as 2,700 euros. This employment strategy is carried out everywhere with Tesla Gigafactory Texas in Austin employing high school students for part-time roles. CEO Elon Musk does not believe in master's degrees and bachelor's degrees. He is of the view that anyone can learn anything they want to learn on their own. He practically runs a spaceship company he started from scratch with no prior experience. The inclusion in the tech company puts it above its competitors. It explains why they are only able to hire 8% of the applications they receive annually. The employees have some perks like physiotherapist on site to help with an injury. The work shifts are tiring and physically draining. Since tired people make mistakes, the company has these doctors to try and help people avoid accidents. There is state-owned and man-made forest of low-quality harvest ready planted pine trees. The site is filled with these pine trees. The state expects Tesla to plant new trees of diverse varieties to replace the old ones. The environmental challenges were clear in court and the decision came out positive for Tesla. They were allowed to clear the vegetation on the land to begin production. The environmental reports also indicate that the ground of the factory is valley sand and contains pollution from heavy metals. Although there are environmental concerns, Tesla has always been one to think about sustainability. The Berlin factory will recycle everything they use in Need. The factory will solely rely on solar, wind, and geothermal energy. The excess heat from the machines will be stored and used as heating in cold months. Tesla believes that we need to move to sustainable energy fast. That is why it started work in 2020 and is expected to finish in 2021. The delay caused by COVID-19 saw a six-month period where work in the factory was stagnant. The factory is back and running, but it may not take a long time to complete. The new expected date for completion of Gigafactory Berlin is April 2022. In the recent 11,000-page document published by the company in compliance with German regulations, the company enlisted November as when the majority of the systems will be up and running in Gigafactory Berlin. We do not only look forward to the opening of Tesla Gigafactory Berlin, but we also anticipate an expansion. Apart from Shanghai, the Gigafactory Texas is also already receiving expansion. There are vast lands near the factory that the company has acquired to use as recreational points for company visitors. The site is across the Colorado Riverside. Expectations are that Tesla will not stop at railways for employees, but also have some recreational angle to the Gigafactory as we know it. The construction zone has added two new buildings that were not initially planned, according to the published documents. Tesla, finally being produced in Europe, is the best news for many people and especially as it's going to be the biggest battery line on the European continent. What do you look forward to seeing most in the finished Giga Berlin line? And are you ready for the more affordable lines of cars that the 4680 batteries will create? Please let us know all your thoughts on the Tesla Berlin Gigafactory in the comments below. And make sure to check out the following video especially chosen for you. See you there.